in the trunk of her car, a jury was found Denny Ross guilty of that crime. You know, it was an emotional end to a very long and difficult journey for everyone involved. Fox 8's Dave Nethers joins us from the Fox 8 studio at the University of Akron today. Dave? A lot of emotion in court today. Denny Ross' first trial ended actually in a mistrial. That was 12 years ago. Not this time. Uh, his jury in his second murder trial found him guilty on all charges for the 1999 murder of Hannah Hill. 13 years after the murder of Hannah Hill, two lengthy trials and a full week of deliberations, Denny Ross has led into a Summit County courtroom, a nine-woman, three-man jury returning its verdicts. Count one, that the defendant is guilty of the offense of murder. Some in the courtroom wept and trembled as the verdicts were read. Is it your determination that the defendant uh, committed murder in this count in that he did purposely cause the death of Hannah Hill? Is that your decision? Yes. Ross had nothing to say as he was taken from the courtroom. Anything to say about the verdicts, Denny? His father, however, promised that he was not done fighting. Do I think there'll be a round three? You can bank on it. Okay. Ross is already serving a 25-year sentence for assaulting Jennifer Tittle, who wept at Friday's verdict. What he did to Hannah was even worse. She's dead. You know, it's a bittersweet because it's not going to bring her back, but he can't do this to anybody else. For Hill's family, the verdict is the end of a very long, horrible journey. It's a big burden lifted. And only God could have did it. He placed everybody and put people that needed to be who they needed to be. And that's, well, that's how justice was served. I think it's 13 years. It took 13 years to get here. And um, I know the judge will do what is important. Uh, Mr. Ross thought it was insulting that we tried to offer him a plea. So now, come sentencing, we'll see how insulted the state was. Thank you. Well, that was the prosecutor. Sentencing could happen next week. Throughout the seven-week-long trial, Ross's defense attorneys pointed the fingers at Hannah Hill's boyfriend, now Brad Oborn, saying he was a more likely suspect. Brad O'Born was also in the court today for this verdict, and tonight at 6, you'll hear his reaction. I just so many emotions for the family there. All right, Dave, thank you. From the University of Akron tonight. We'll hear local special news.